Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Thursday, 16th, May 2024. Thursday of the seventh week of Eastertide. With them in you and you and you and me, may they be so completely one that the world will realize that it was you who sent me, says the Lord. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. And with your spirit. God, to whom belongs all creation, and to call us to serve you by caring for the gifts that surround us, inspire us by the power of St. Isidore to share our food with the hungry and to work for the salvation of all people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated and let us listen to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Meletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward, perverting the truth to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant, and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonish each of you with tears. And now, I commend you to God, and to that gracious word, of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way, I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak. And keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who, who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him. For they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome is his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Please all rise to honor the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I send them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Entrusted to the Father. We are approaching the end of Easter and our readings, particularly the Gospel, we've been reading from the Gospel of John and especially the Last Supper discourse. But this is the last portion where uh, scholars call it the priestly prayer. Jesus prays for his disciples and um, he addresses the Father. And so it's uh, kind of a farewell. Um, the whole Last Supper discourse is a farewell, but this one particularly shows the character of Jesus' farewell. It's a farewell that is very clearly yeah. um, and, and very intensely an offering, an entrusting to the Father. Uh, we also see in the uh, first reading another uh, instance, uh, incidents of um, uh, farewell. Now, this time, uh, Saint Paul, uh, and uh, we see how how emotional it was. Uh, how uh, the people were weeping, uh, and Paul was saying to them, uh, "When I was with you, no, I I I did not. Um, I tried my best to be not a burden to anyone. No, I worked, uh, and then he also." told uh, the presbyters who were, who were going to be in charge of the community now to take care of them. So another entrusting. But very clearly in, in Jesus' uh, prayer, uh, it is an entrusting that reveals his love, uh, that uh, teaches us about how to love. It's a love that is very um, open. It's a love that does not keep to oneself. It's not possessive. It's a very freeing love. Uh, and yet, it's very intense. 
very often we think of love being intense as uh, possessing, you know, keeping to ourselves and, and not wanting to let go. You know. But that's the opposite you know, with Jesus. He entrusts completely. You know. We whom he truly, deeply loves, you know, entrusting completely to the Father. Incidentally, in the first reading, Paul quotes Jesus and one of the few quotes that are not recorded in the Gospels. And we know very well that the Gospels are not able to record everything no, that Jesus said and did. Uh, in fact, John himself, in the Gospel of John, the evangelist says, you know, if everything were to be recorded, uh, the world could not contain all the books. So, But uh, there's a very uh, specific line no, that's um, recorded here in Acts of the Apostles, uh, quoting St. Paul. And Paul quoting Jesus, that is not found in the Gospels. He says, Jesus says, it is more blessed to give than to receive. It's more blessed to give than to receive. And that's a, that's a very good uh, advice no? to go by, a good teaching. But if we look at um, the Gospel, how Jesus uh, demonstrates uh, true and deep and intense love, maybe we can... Uh, adjust that saying, and then uh, Jesus is teaching us you know, that it is better to offer than to keep. It is better to offer than to keep. Uh, and that's the kind of love that uh, Jesus has for us. And uh, the rest of the gospel that we heard is uh, specifically a gospel, a, a prayer about prayer, uh, about union. Uh, about consecrating, setting apart, about uh, ourselves and Jesus himself being uh, of God, not of the world, belonging to the Father, not belonging to the world. And all of that uh, are elements of this love that entrusts us very openly, not possessing, not uh, holding back. Very good for us to keep in mind, uh, not just for occasions of farewell. No? So maybe these days some of us here are also going through uh, processes of farewell. No? But uh, not just for farewell, but really as a as a principle, as a guide of how we love, no? love that is not possessive, but one that is very uh, intensely desirous of the good of the beloved, allowing the beloved to grow, to go forth, to expand. And so we pray uh, in, great, in gratitude to God for this kind of love given to us. And we pray that we too may bear the same kind of love for one another. Let us all stand and we offer our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord that through the intercession of St. Isidore, he may bless the farmers and make the work of their hands fruitful. For each prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, let our land be fertile and bring about fruit in abundance. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Protect the crops from all the devouring pests and various other destructions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us, let us share with others the things your providence provides us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us be thankful to the farmers and help them to have a dignified and secure living. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us learn from the example of St. Isidore to have time for Mass and prayer despite our long work day. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Aida Quijano, Father Eric Anthony Escandor of the Society of Jesus, Cory Vidanes, Jerome Garcia, and Emily Lee. For the healing of Maria Lourdes Rausa Chan, Gig Anover, Edman Rapin, Karina Ali, Tisha Aganon, Barbara Gonzalez Ventura, Mila Soledo Garcia, ASB, 
Doris Ore- Orejana, Joaquin Patawaran, Chef Verhel Di Dios, Abby Puno, May Sines, and Cherry Ocampo. For the repose of the souls of Rolly Maligad, Regina De Jesus, Romeo Maglalang, and Gracilda Duron. For the special intentions of Liza Halandoni, Hannah Gonzalez, Welvi Kadigoy, Marivic Ocampo, Susan Hore, Yvonne Luna, Kat Carlos, Nelia Nazareno, Marge Matutina, Sandy Violet, Velasco and Taray family, Amanda Rapin, Linda and Ted Ferrer, Dodit Reyes, Sam Rayala, Jopi Badoy, Aina Savillo, Malutria, Merlu Sadiwa, Rita Murdoch and their families, Rebecca and Charlie Wasmer, Thelma Ali, Chinky Todoro, Diego and Joaquin, Dennis and Sel, Bless Malilin, Eden Rabena, Pog Santos, Maisa Castaneda, Weng Andrada, Nate and Hans, and Annie Bautista. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at JustCom and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you nourish us with food to sustain us in body and spirit. Through the prayer and example of St. Isidore, may we labor for our sustenance, share our food with the hungry, and work for the salvation of our brothers and sisters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of blessed Isidore, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And so with the, with the angels and archangels, with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of God hosts, of hosts heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full, are of, full your of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, all the clergy, all who minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, St. Isidore, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together now we pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, Jesus, the Lamb of God, he who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we who have been invited to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, as the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of Blessed Isidore, sanctify our minds and hearts, that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist is ended. Let us go, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God.
Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.